Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for checking out and clicking on today's video because if you are, then you're looking for some putting advice and I'm going to do my best to give you some because let's be fair, we all struggle a little bit, a lot sometimes in some cases with putting. On some days we can feel like we're going to hold the world, other days it's going to feel like we've literally never held this instrument before. But we're going to be talking a bit more in depth today about start line and the short range puts because there's so many instances where maybe from 20, 30, 40 feet, we get the ball inside of, let's say inside of six foot to start with, and we miss the next put. Now, statistically on the PGA Tour, from around four feet, the tour players will hold it approximately 65 to 70% of the time. That's, that's not a resounding amount considering that they are the best players in the world. So one of the things I personally had to get to grips with is that when I miss a four footer, and maybe it's a difficult one, it's a, it's a, a little bit of a break downhill left to right, something like that. I have to stop myself being angry with myself because you think the best players in the world also do this. It's not like they hole it 100% of the time. And when we watch TV, we watch the PGA Tour, watch the European Tour, watch the majors, we're generally following the players that are playing well. And the players that are playing well and scoring well are those that are putting well, generally. So you don't see too many crazy mistakes. But maybe some of the guys that are still world-class level, missing the cuts, are missing some of these four footers. So we will have our day. But aside from that, we need to be able to practice well. We need to be able to understand what we're practicing. We need to be able to understand the, mass, the correlation between start line and pace, because that is so important, so important. You can get onto a green and go, this is a little bit left to right, but if maybe if you decelerate, you under hit it, it takes more of the break and you miss it on the low side, or you think this is gonna be a little bit left to right, but you know what? I'm going to be positive and you smash it through the break frustrating so you've got to be able to understand the line but you've got to correlate that to the pace so today's video so let's crack on shall we let's have a look at this what we've got set up okay so i thoroughly believe every single golfer has to do this now i've got a tournament coming up this week so first of all i'm going to thank you all in advance for giving me the inspiration to do this video because you know what, this acts as a little bit of practice for me, so I'm buzzing with that. This is, I've got a putting mat on the ground. There's loads of different types of putting mats. I use back to basics golf because it gives me a little arc for my stroke on the mirror. You've seen a lot of different mats that give you just the, just the kind of the distance to go back and through and they've got the mirror to see where your shoulders and your head alignment is. And then you also get separate mats that help you with the arc. This does both, that's what I like about it. It's also got, it also comes with the gates. Gates are so important. Even if you don't have gates, even if you don't have a putting mat, set something up to start the ball through. Start line is so important. When this putter face moves one or two degrees through impact, we've pretty much missed the putt. So the, the start line is vital. Now, this is not the most difficult one. There's a hard one where the ball just about gets through. It's tricky, that one. Doesn't do the confidence any good. <laughs> so what I've got here, I've got, the ball, I've got the ball set, I've got the mat set up already. Took me a minute, literally a minute, just to kind of get the mat set up. Then another 25 seconds to get the gate set up. I set the gate not too far away from where it starts, with the ball starts, because I never like to see this extended follow through or this lifting of the elbows. I want to see a little bit more of an abbreviated follow through so you've got good control of the club face. So I put the putter in behind the ball. My eyes are on this thick green line that goes in behind the ball, and I've got a really good um, line at the bottom of the mat for my shoulder alignment as well. So there we go, we are set. What this match makes me do, it makes me reset, because it makes me just drop a little bit lower. Sometimes I kind of get a little bit too upright, but this actually rem reminds me to just drop a little bit lower with my shoulders. Eyes are over the ball, which is what I like, and then we're just gonna make sure that we hit a good putt. Now, talking and putting is pretty tricky, okay? That's a little disclaimer, okay? So, if I'd have just nudged it on there, I may have caught this left edge. You never know, you never know. Okay, so we're over the ball, eyes over the ball, my shoulders have reset. I just drop into my knees a little bit for a slightly better posture. 
and I've hit that left side again. So what this is gonna tell me is that I'm closing the club face through impact. Okay, great feedback. Okay, if I stand here and get this wrong for another 25 minutes, I'm getting the right feedback. Now I've got to fix it, okay? So you can start to help fix yourself, help, help fix your own putting. There we go, so I've fixed it. Or have I really fixed it? I've been able to manipulate what I was doing wrong. So by manipulating what I'm doing wrong, I'm starting to build a new feel. Straight away, perfect. I know that this is set up perfectly, mainly because I did a quite a few putts earlier on, just checking it. I know that the I know that the gates lined up perfectly. You could even go as far as maybe using a ruler from the back of the uh, the back of the mat. But what we don't see enough is this type of practice. Now, to get a little bit more in depth with it, maybe do something that you should do on the golf course as well. Line the writing or the line of the golf ball up to the, the green line on the mat or any color line on the mat. You can see it going straight through the gate. You know it's perfect. So anything that goes wrong from now, is purely our fault. So club goes in, my line and my putter in behind the golf ball, shoulders on the line, eyes on the line, grip feels good, I've got good control of the face, good stroke. Okay, got that abbreviated follow through, so it gives me good strong control of the club face as I'm coming through. Nothing worse than that over exaggerated extended follow through. Nice. Grip is massively important when it comes to putting as well. I would often get this left hand, my left hand, which is the lead hand, more underneath the club, so the, the, uh, the, so the grip is going through the palm of my hand. I would often get the same with the right hand, so the hands are working equally against each other, so there's a lot less movement through the ball. I'm able to kind of lock everything, and just get what that does, and it tucks my elbows in, gets my palms out, and I can just hold it into this position. And a great practice for you now, if you get your hands like this, turn them round, I've got my forearms facing you, I've got my elbows in, I'm just going to rock my shoulders. That's effectively what the golf grip is going to do. You're going to barely feel any sort of movement from the hands at this section because now you've got complete control and it's going to be a lot easier for you to control the club face as you are doing this. Oh, we can almost Kevin Nari. Once you know you've got it through the gate and you've got the right speed, you go and grab your next golf ball. It's enjoyable. There we go. Okay, so massively important to be able to work on this side of your game. The confidence that you can have from this side will extend itself across the green. When you're putting from 40 feet away, okay, you're not worried so much about the second put. You're thinking, get this inside a six foot, I'm pretty solid from there, I'm pretty solid. I'm practicing from four feet, which I would always say is a general, the, the old kind of, the, what we say in England is the dustbin lid. Never seen a four foot dustbin lid, if I'm honest, but you know what I mean. We're trying to get it inside of a radius that we feel relatively comfortable with. I think if we're all honest with ourselves, one foot would be comfortable. Two foot should be comfortable. Three and four, we start to get twitchy bum. So we don't want to make, we don't want it to be too far away from the hole. But when we are too far away, we need to be able to play from there we need to be confident from there okay so the last little drill i like to do with the putting mat and the gates is just basically to hit it a little bit harder i'll be honest i haven't massively lined this up to the hole and i would prefer you didn't to be honest i would just say try and set say and set a tee peg 20 30 feet away and hitting the ball harder is going to require more consistency of the club face through impact which is as you could probably imagine, more difficult than a four foot putt. But again, once you're on the green, you've chose your line, you've chose it left to right or right to left, you know it's uphill, you've got to hit it hard. How many times do we block it or pull it or something like that? Because we're trying to hit it harder. It's completely natural, we all do it. It's the same as when we're doing the same with a driver and a wedge or something like that. When you're trying to hit the ball harder, you lose a little bit of control of the face. But just by practicing this, and again, I've not lined this up necessarily to the hole, but just by hitting it harder, so I'm gonna try and get this just past the hole, hitting it harder is gonna be more difficult to get it through the gate, but again, that's equally just as good, better practice, because now you're practicing starting the ball on the start line that you are required, because again, you from 40 feet, if this putter face opens up by one or two degrees, you're gonna miss it at least six foot to the side of where you're aiming. 
So again, we get it through and we start making a little bit of a ladder drill as well. <laughs> I wasn't intending on doing. But practice from long distance, practice from short distance, start line will make you a much better putter because you have control of the club face as well. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Hope it's helpful. Hope it adds value to your golf game. Hope it lowers your scores, more importantly. Stay tuned for plenty more content to come on the channel. Everything from challenges, course vlogs, and golf tips. So you are in the right place for good content, I hope. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Please also like the video if it, you think it's added value to your golf game. But from today, from quite a wintry cold Dubai, as you can tell, trousers and jumper. Ooh, Baltic. Guys, thanks very much. See you again.